Make sure you check out our new sponsor, the Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. What's going on? We back. Good fella Sports TV. We in the building. Make sure you check out our playlist from a lot of boxing, MMA, NBA, NFL. Plenty of you know things to go through to check uh, the playlist, man. Check it out, man. Don't forget our new sponsor. You seen the promo running the Health Blaze. Um, check them out at thehealthblaze.com. Use my promo code Goodfella One Boxing get eighteen percent off, and that's on top of any other promos or discounts that they're running. Those links are in the description. The link or in in the um, promo code is there as well. I definitely appreciate everybody for checking in, but go over there and check out um, the Health Blaze, man. Uh, good natural products, man. Cut your chances of getting cancer and other diseases that come with processed products. People think of processed foods. Think of processed products as well. They got a lot of aluminum deodorant and dangerous processed products and toothpaste, lotions. They got it all natural. Toothpaste, lotions, magnesium, uh, lotions, pomade, foot soaks, bath bombs. So go over there and check out and use my promo code. Get 80% off at least. Probably going to get more when you go over there for certain promos and um, products they're running. But the website and the promo code is in the description. And uh, we know Errol, we know Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford are the cream of the cop, but it's, we know Sean Porter is scared. We know Keith Thurman is scared to compete, and I say that in every true definition of scared. Scary cat, punk, um, sissy, they sissies. Okay, I don't care if his daddy holding him back. He a sissy for letting his daddy, you know, you know, sign his daddy to a contract, and his daddy making him put it in words and writing that he controls his total, total career. My, me and my dad will be on a handshake. Well, I ain't got to put my dad, you know, to an old contract. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm thorough. My word is my word. But that just shows you how insecure Papa Diddy, K Diddy is, man. But we know Keith Thurman and uh, Sean Porter scared, right? The only question is that is Errol Spencer and Terrence Crawford scared to compete against each other? That's the question. Is either one of them or both of them scared to go out there and truly be great and make it happen. Or they want to continue to milk the fans. And they fans, you know, a large, mar- a large part of their fans, I'm pretty much safe to say, 99.9% of Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford fans believe they are throwback fighters. Remember Sugar Ray Rob- Leonard, I-, I said earlier, fought Rafael Benitez early in his career. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then didn't even get a lot of credit <laughs> until, you know, later on in his career until he retired. You know, and at the end of the day, that's what's going to boil down to. Next year, 2019, where Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford, you know, progress boxing, where they take the lead and really, you know, steal the thunder in the sport of boxing and, and give us what we want. Even if we got to pay $100, $200 for, for Crawford and Errol Spence, where they step up and say, you know what, you know, since, you know, Keith Thurman being the Punani and Sean Porter daddy won't let him do nothing, he's scared anyway, let us step up and say the welterweight division and sal- and salvage boxing, you know. And everybody's talking about the good fights. You didn't get no good fighting. We all know Canelo Alvarez and Triple G ain't the most skilled fighters in the world. We know that. Okay? We know that. These two are the most skilled fighters in the world. Or, or it seems to be that way. You know what I'm saying? This is the fight that everybody want to see. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about AJ and Wilder, Anthony Joshua and Wilder. Them, them just two big heavyweights. You know, they not skilled. They ain't Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier. You know, they, they ain't that. Evander, you know, Lennox. You know, Riddick Bowe, Mike Tyson in the 80s or the 90s. You know, they ain't even David Tua, okay? That's just a fight that's been built up off of, off of lies and built up off of negotiating through the media and a line promoter that's really trying to, um, you know, you know, American fighters into making him the, uh, the crown jewel of American boxing. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's just what it is. We talking about real, real, real fighting, top-notch, elite, upper echelon fighting. We talking about Errol Spence and, and Terrence Crawford, you know, two guys that seem indestructible, that seem that there's no blueprint on how to beat them for the most part, and it's gonna be his corner versus Errol, Errol Spence corner versus Terrence Crawford corner. You know what I'm saying? You know, and he's showing that you ain't, you know, pretty much stalling out like Keith Thurman is. Keith Thurman is stalling out for everybody to beat each other. He could swoop down and just beat the and try to fight the guy without having to put blood, sweat, and tears into it. That's his motivation. He want everybody else to take take each other out. He can come in and get an easy fight. They all beat each other up. Errol, Sean Porter, he already know he don't he don't believe that. Okay, Sean Porter know he don't belong. You know what I'm saying? Sean Porter is 
is a Prius in a monster truck car show. Okay, Sean Porter not even qualified to be in this race, you know. And if boxing ever was to do the right thing and really hold it down to keep it thorough and be 100, they would strip every champion, you know, in this in this division. And if Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford agreed to fight each other, came to terms, put all the belts up for Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford, for, for they taking the lead. Make it for undisputed, because in everybody's eyes, that's the undisputed fight anyway. Now, if Keith Thurman exudes some confidence and want to come back and fight next year and fight Sean Porter, or fight Errol Spence, or fight Terrence Crawford, same thing for Sean. If Sean want to boss up and fight Errol Spence or Terrence Crawford next year, for sure then, then we can cancel those plans. But as soon as, you know, as soon as they start neglecting and fighting other champions and they trying to wait for each other, what Sean Porter is trying to do this? I said this earlier in the live stream. Sean Porter is, is trying to wait for Keith Thurman. He'd rather wait for Keith Thurman and barely lose to Keith Thurman because, you know, Keith Thurman can't knock him out, okay? He feel like he can go all 12 with Keith Thurman. This Keith Thurman is an older version of, of, of himself. He's going to be a worse version of himself in Errol and Sean Porter. Mind. He said, you know what? I'd rather not get knocked out by Errol Spence, you know, or get beat to a pulp by Terrence Crawford. I'd rather lose to Keith Thurman. I think I can get Keith Thurman. If I don't get him, it is what it is. You know, it'll just be another close fight. He know Errol Spence going to fold him up like origami, you know, like a lawn chair. He probably know Terrence Crawford is going to embarrass him as well, too, you know. So he know he don't belong. He know he don't. He ain't qualified, bro. He one of them dudes that slipped into a job through a referral. He ain't qualified to do what he's supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? And, and like I said before, the real question is this, man. I'm going to tell you this. The real question is, does, is Errol Spence scared to lose? Is Terrence Crawford scared to lose? That's the real question. Are they scared to risk, risk it for themselves? Are they scared to gamble and really, you know, work together, really go out there and say, okay, I'm my own boss. I'm Earl Spence. Let me go over there and make a deal with Bob Barron. Is they scared to risk it? Because at the end of the day, it could be a 50-50 split. You know, well, we shouldn't care about the financials, but we have to care about the financials in this era. But he can go out there and do a 50-50 split because guess what? If it's a 50-50 split, the winner is the one that's going to walk away with the riches and the spoils. The winner's going to get it all. New socks and new draws. <laughs> the winner's going to get it all. That's what the situation is. Whoever win that fight, especially if they win it convincingly, they're going to be that guy. They're going to be universally recognized as pound for pound number one. They can't put Canelo in that class, I'm telling you. They can't put Golovkin definitely in that class, that whack resume he got. They can't put Mikey in that class because he's going to get his ass whooped by Earl Spence, okay? Um, at least that's what's supposed to happen. They can't put Keith Thurman in that class or Sean Porter in that class. Can't put nobody in that class. Nobody has went out there and beat the first number one and number two guy in their division. It hasn't happened yet. You know, people go around and say, well, Canelo and Golovkin was the two best in their division. No, they're not. They were scared, man. Golovkin was scared to fight Derevchenko. You know what I'm saying? Danny Jacobs got knocked out and got knocked down by Sergio Mora. Okay? Jamal Charlo just had a real tough with Matt Corbyn, fight with Corbyn. We waiting for homeboy to get back, Andrade to get back after. It's yet to be seen who the best fighter in the division is because Canelo only had two fights versus the same guy in middleweight. Everything else was at 155 and 164 and a half. Okay? We ain't, we ain't, see a, a, we ain't gonna see a number one or number two in a division like this with this much skill and this much ability and both of these guys pretty much in their physical prime. And it's no, it's no, it's no, it's no blueprint on how to beat them right now. Real talk. It ain't no blueprint. Look at Deion, you can look at Deontay Wilder and say, okay, it's a blueprint how to beat him. You know, AJ ain't got the skills to carry it out. Look at Tyson Fury say it's a blueprint how to beat him. Look how Wilder knocked him out. If they fight again, Wilder knocked him out. That's what people say that. Crawford ain't a blueprint. People gonna try to nitpick for the Benavidez fight. Man, I ain't feel like Benavidez won too many rounds in that fight. Oh, if Kill Brook was this much older and younger or whatever, he didn't fight. Hey, if it was the fifth, we all be drunk. <laughs> That's just what it is, man. That's just what it is. The question is, it's not that we already know the answer to if Sean Porter's scared. We know. He don't belong. We already know the answer to if Keith Thurman's scared. We already know. This dude retired. This dude retired. He don't have a hunger to fight no more. He went to go lay up in some cooch and, and, and lost his way. We already know what type of dude he is. He the most fraud, he was the most fraudulent dude in boxing, bro. Him and AJ. You know, and he might be even more fraudulent than AJ, okay? He went out here yelling, beating his chest, saying KOs for life, and you know, you know, he want all the smoke, and I got an O, I ain't afraid to let it go. Yeah, he afraid to let his O go. Keith Thurman been lying longer and more consistently than AJ. 
Ask Juice Johnson, Anthony Joshua. You know what I'm saying? And Sean Porter doing the same thing. What Sean Porter and Keith Thurman is trying to do is trying to, you know, mask and make it look like, oh, they're going to fight each other, make it look like they're the best world to wait, and it's on eight turns between Errol Spence, it's on eight turns between Terrence Crawford after they fight next year, and they the bosses of the division. Everybody know who the two best in the division is, man. But the real question is, are the two best in the division scared to lose something? Is Errol Spence scared to lose to Terrence Crawford? Is Terrence Crawford scared to lose to Errol Spence? You know, are, are they can they corner the vibes of playing the blueprint how to beat each other? That's the best fight. If more casual fans knew Errol Spence and knew Terrence Crawford, that's the premier fight. You know, that's the fight everybody want to see. Bar none. That's what you want to see. You're talking about two undestructible, unbeatable dudes right now. A, a, a classic fight. A, a, a come forward aggressive fighter versus a boxer puncher who pretty much can do it all. And Terrence Crawford. And you got Errol Spence who can box and punch as well too. But people don't know that. I mean, are they willing to risk it? Are they willing to make it right now? Or they want the $20, $30 million to fight that ain't going to never come with the fight? That's the question. That's the real, real question. Because we know once they fight, even if they have a trilogy or they fight twice or they fight once, we already know what it's going to be. They're going to fight. It's going to be popular. They're going to promote it right. At least top rank ain't going to promote shit because they don't invest into no black fighters like Crawford, okay? You know, the fight going to be promoted right. We're going we gonna to move the units. We're going to get the casual fans behind it. We know the usual suspect. It's going to go down a neutral field like Las Vegas. I wish it go down to Memphis, though. It's going to go down. And then the winner, if this is a clear winner, you're going to have Sean Porter and Keith Thurman come out the woodworks and act like they want to smoke. They don't deserve to come in there and get no type of fair split, bro. They deserve to come in there and get a 90-10 split. 10 split in their favor, 90 split, 90 split into the winner of Crawford and Errol Spence favor. That's what they need to get because you wasn't here. You didn't risk shit. You didn't risk nothing. You basically coming in and trying to get a free ride, you know, with your belt. You trying to sell your belt. You know, what I already understood don't need to be proven. We already know the winner of Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford is the people's undisputed champ. They the people's lineal champ. That's just what the business is, man. And Errol Spence and Keith Thurman is just coming to bring a payday, bro. That's what they is. They coming to bring a payday. They come in to shoot their shot because if they don't shoot their shot now, you know, both one of these dudes can retire, one of these dudes can just move up and wait. They come in to get a free lunch. That's what it is. They come to get a free ride. They come in to cash out. All right? That's what it is, man. They're going to try to come out the woodworks and get all tough and want to fight Earl. When it's worth to fight Earl, when it's worth to fight Terrence Crawford, when they when they get when they when they stars and they going on the tonight show, the Jimmy Kimball show, whatever, when they going on Saturday Night Live, when they on ESPN, when they getting the promo, they on the Breakfast Club again, and they getting all the groupies and chicken heads when it's worth something. When it wasn't worth nothing, when it was worth regular pay, when it was worth three or four million to fight these dudes, and you weren't willing to risk it, you weren't nowhere to be found. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now when they fight each other and it's worth fighting a winner, or shit, if it's worth fighting a loser, now everybody want to come out and be vocal. You know? But y'all know what it is, man. It's good for the sports TV. Don't forget, we on Facebook, we on Twitter. You can DM me on all social media sites. You can hit me up in the email as well. I uh, appreciate everybody that do. I got to get to these emails. I'm sorry. Been moving and shaking, but you can make a donation to the channel. You can check our Facebook group out as well. And don't forget the Health Blaze, man. Healthblaze.com website link in the description. Promo code GoodfellowOneBox in the description. Check it out. Go over there and get you some natural products, man. Get right. Um, especially if you're a person that don't eat meat and like to eat right and, uh, you know, eat organically and you want to cut the risk of you getting cancer and other processed um, you know, processed food and processed products, uh, diseases that come with those things. Check out the health blades, all the information in the description. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Appreciate everybody to go over there and cop something for your boy and cop something to keep copying from the, from the health blades. But appreciate you dudes. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon button. Appreciate the guys as well too. And um, keep checking out for us and check out our playlist as well too. One time for the one.